some for you to try now. Uh, if you want to pause, work it out yourself, then come back, I'll have the answer for you. Um, I'd recommend doing that so you can get some practice in. I'm going to go ahead and solve. So we have t plus 5. There's nothing to distribute with that, so I'm just going to bring it out of the parentheses. My 4 does need distributing. I'm going to rewrite it so that my variables are together. And my constants are together. And again, this sums the subtraction. So I'm just going to bring that whole thing down. And then t plus 4t is 5t, and then 5 minus 4 is 1, and then you're done. So for this one, we're getting a little bit trickier. We're going to distribute first, okay? So distribute first. So I'm going to rewrite my expression, and then I'm going to distribute. 3 times x is 3x, and then if you didn't remember, when we're multiplying a positive number times a negative number, so a positive, um, sorry, a positive times a positive equals a positive, a negative times a negative equals a positive, and then a negative times a positive equals negative. So remember that rule. If you didn't remember, write it down now. So three, a positive three times a negative one is negative 3. So now I have to go through the order of operations to, to simplify. So I'm looking at it and I've got some division going on. So I'm going to divide here and bring down the rest of my problem. And it looks like I've gotten all of my multiplying and dividing done. So now with my adding and subtracting, I have to combine my like terms. So I'm going to rewrite it so that my like terms are together. Um, and again, your operation stays with the problem. So like my plus 5 and my minus 3. Very important there. So plus 5 minus 3, and now 5 plus 3 is 8x, and then 5 minus 3 is 2. And then for right now, we're done. When you get older, there's more to do, but we're going to stop here for now. Okay, next one. Okay, so we've got some more expressions. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, 12r divided by 2 plus... 3s plus 2 times the power of 2, or not power of 2, times 2, plus 4 times s plus y. So a lot going on here. Go slow, go with me if you want. A lot going on. So this time we have 12r divided by 2. We have some addition. We have multiplying, distributing property. So I'm going to rewrite the problem again so that I can get my distributive property done. 12r divided by 2 plus 3s plus 2 times 2 plus 4s plus 4y because I'm distributing that 4 to both of those parts. So now I've got some multiplying and dividing to do. Oh, wow, look at this. We have 12r divided by 2. What are we going to do? Remember, you don't have to have like terms to divide with variables. So 12r divided by 2, you got it, 6r. 6r. Bring down my 3s. I can go ahead and multiply my 2 times 2 and get 4. Plus 4s plus 4y. Handwriting is pretty important right now, so your s's look like s's and not 5's. Mine's getting close, so be very careful. Uh, so now I'm going to group my, my problem together. I've got 6r, so I've used that one. And I don't have any other R's in this problem, so I'm gonna I'm done with that one. Uh, let me get my S's together. I have three S and a four S, and then I have a constant of a four, no other constants, and then I have another variable with a four Y. 
And so now I can, I'm running out of room, but I can combine my, my um, 3s and 4s. So I'm going to rewrite again. So 6r, because there's nothing to add it to, plus 7s, plus 4, plus 4y. Okay? And we'll be good to go with that as it is. One more. You can do it. So this time we have 3x plus 3x squared minus x plus 2x. So this time we don't have any distributing to do. We don't have any real order of operations to follow at this point. It's already been simplified. Now we have to combine my like terms to finish out the problem. So in looking at this, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my 3x squared because I know there aren't any other of those. And then it looks like I've got a commonality between this one, this one, and this one because they're all variable x power.